This is Ubisoft Live at E3, coming to you from the Uplay Lounge. I am your host, Zach Cooper. Uh, we will be doing this until about 4 o'clock when we have to shut down and say goodbye to E3. But for the time being, we've got a wonderful opportunity uh, to talk about uh, something that, is, that has obviously become a super big deal uh, here in the U.S., and that is the Rabbids, uh, the interactive TV show. Um, We've seen in the past, or I should introduce who we're talking to as well, this is Xavier uh, Manzanares, who is the executive producer on The Rabbids. Um, we've seen, we know that Just Dance spawned from The Rabbids, um, mm. and now there's this, this huge cartoon hit that's basically exploded on Nickelodeon. Um, what's going on? Give us, give us some facts and figures about sure. you know, what, what it is that's sort of led to this hysteria. So The Rabbids is true, that's always a brand that worked on the different elements, you know, depending on the console we were on, we could have um, a lot of interaction with the Wiimote at the time. Uh, we were the first game to be playing on your butt when we had the balance board on the Wii. Playing um, on your butt. Yeah, which yeah. is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the game, really, all the Rabbids games in the past uh, really tried to go for some sort of uh, innovation in terms of design. So all the guys working on the Rabbids in general are crazy. So. <laughs> What they want to do is take something like the Wii or the Kinect camera or even a device, whatever device, and what could we do with this, you know? So from those ideas, we had some ideas as well in terms of gameplay. Uh, so it's true, we had uh, some sort of a game dance game. And uh, when we saw the game and the success we had with the, uh, the players, we said, hey, maybe we could do a game just on dance, you know? So Just Dance came out. Um, so yeah, Rabbits are really connected to something like Let's go for innovation all the time. So mm -hmm. it's something we have in the brand DNA. Um, and now with a TV show. So the TV show is a huge success. I'm from Paris, France, and in France, it's a huge success as well. People are crazy about it. So the kids, 5 to 12, it's one of their best shows as well right now. So 300 million views right now in the U.S. We Whoa. just capped over it. So that's really cool. So we said, hey, what could we do with this TV show? You know, mm -hmm. if it's like a console or, console or a device, what could we do over it? You know. Yeah. So we didn't want to do like the game of a TV show, uh, like a lot of other other companies try to do when there's a movie or a TV mm -hmm. show. So we said, let's go back to the drawing board. What could we do and try to do an evolution with this? So that's today's game. It's not your typical E3 game because it's a kid's game, but it's an exclusive for Twitch because mm -hmm. the first time we showed at E3. We did want to get this opportunity because we had you here, Xavier, and, uh, and like you said, you've got this exclusive that you want to share. We can, we can pour into, I guess, uh, four different modes, if I'm not mistaken. Way more than that. In, for, in fact, in the, uh, the episode we have, so basically we took the 78 episodes, we took 20 of them, the, the ones we thought would be the most interesting in terms of interaction. And um, we have uh, 400, more than 400 activities, which is way more than any party games we did in the past. So today we have four of them. Four of 400. Yeah. <laughs> One percent. <laughs> so but that's uh, uh, yeah, huge scope. Yeah. So let's start with uh, what is called Catch the Sticker. Hmm. But here what you have is basically a trick you use. So you have the rabbits in the TV series running, and then we're going to pause Move the footage. Using so you your hand call and Catch and the Sticker as a tutorial. And we pause the video, we add 3D rabbits, and then you control it with your hands where the rabbits will go. You can jump, and if you jump, you're gonna jump and then try you to catch, catch the stickers. stickers. So here, yes, it's a, a gameplay that looks like a party game like you do it in the past, mm -hmm. but it's a trick because you use the video, uh, by pausing it, it seems like it's part of the experience, and that's what we wanted to do. So it's very fun because you have to avoid red ones, uh, uh, because they're putting down the points, the normal ones give you some points. And, and you can the, obviously uh, see the live leaderboard on the right Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a kids focus game as well, as you see in these activities, and, and we had a lot of success in playtests with kids. But, it's something that's first is fun, but as well it's going in the direction that um, it's new to the genre, you know? Pausing the video, adding experience, the participation experience, and then when it's finished, you get the scores. So we have uh, a lot of experience from party games, we have leaderboards, a scoring system. We have a lot of game designers who worked on the, the rabbits before. So we brought this in as well, this experience. And so what you see is 
here is uh, all of this. Now, what, what are we seeing in this one? So, that's one um, other part of the uh, the show. So, one episode, seven minutes. Okay. So, that's at the end, around five minutes. So, we let the players and the kids, you know, watch because it's, you know, it's a funny joke. They're talking to that, so that they like that part. And then suddenly you say, hey, here. It's funny because the rabbits are, you know, drawing, they make fun of themselves. So we decided to add an activity. And just here, fill the shapes. Okay. What you have to do is pretty much fill the shapes uh, the fastest you to can. Fill the shapes. And um, you'll see another trick we use is uh, we're looping the video. So the rabbits here goes back and in. And we're going to do this loop uh, four times. Okay. So, you know, we try to understand how a TV show um, was done and we added the, uh, the feature over it. So it's some sort of the evolution of TV shows. So of course, this is really kids. Yeah. So you guys, I don't know if you're kids and- but or if really you have this kids. Is, yeah, if you have kids or your parents, you have, it's a big difference because instead of being passive by looking at a TV show, well, you're being involved. active and involved yeah. in the series. Yeah. And that's the first, it was never been done in the past, so. Uh, this is all done through hand. Connect. To so it's all in 3 Connect, so that's uh, 3 Connect uh, 360, Xbox One and PS4. Okay. Um, and basically the engine is Unity and we had a lot of uh, great success uh, building this. Um, if I talk the way why we did this game as well, well we started last year doing prototypes with one game designer, one artist and one programmer. And basically at first we thought, hey, uh, it should be easy, you know, we have a lot of experience in party games, so it should be a no-brainer for us. Uh, so we put a lot of activities, like every second we had an activity, and it broke the show, you know? The kids, when they look at the playtest, were like, I don't know, we don't follow the storyline. Yeah, it's too much. It. It's too much, yeah. you know? So since then, we're working the balance, and it's a huge challenge. In fact, we're really, uh, a TV show that is interactive, so we're pretty happy with it. Do you find the kids that you that you have done playtests with, I mean, are they... Are they remembering these episodes and, and that makes it, you know, that adds to the experience because they're, they're part of something they already know and love? Um, some of them knew the episodes and uh, they thought, hey, this is completely new, you know, I want to check it back. And in playtest, they play to this three, four times in a row. Oh. So that's pretty cool because they don't really do it if it was just passive. And if you don't know the show, um, we had kids who didn't know at all the, the TV show. Well, they were having some fun because they had activities, but at the same time the jokes and everything was in. So that was pretty. The cool. rabbits are pretty charming in themselves. Or icons. Yeah, uh, I've, I've got a, uh, I've got like a, a velvety uh, blue one on my desk at work, and uh, I actually just awesome. gave it to my coworker for her birthday because she fell in love with it. But uh, I love it as well. Yeah, it's cool. So you see here, for example, you don't see the guys doing it, so you only see the video, but you have to do the pull-ups like we did in some party games in the past. And basically, if you do it well, the video goes really fast. And what we decided to add as well is something that works very well in some um, applications or other games is match the pose. So here, when the rabbits are going to do some pose, you have to do it a bit quicker before the other guy. So here you see two players, but we have up to four players on the Xbox One and PS4. So basically, here the rabbit will do a, a position like this. Bam, you do it. The first one is going to get more points and. Uh, and this works very well. So again, it's something that we did in the past, but it works well when you watch the TV show. It's not breaking the experience of watching, so it's yeah. watch and play pretty much. So what does that do then for the runtime of a show? Because you have X amount of time to work with, and now you're you're making it an interactive experience that uh, you know will take some people a little bit longer than others, and you still need to fit that into a you know a specific time slot. Yeah, well, if I talk about production, so we have, uh, of course, programmers, designers, they have a lot of experience in Rabbit's titles, but it was completely new, you know, as I said before, we broke pretty much the experience, the first prototypes we had. Yeah. Um, so we had to adapt, so what we're doing is we're receiving all the episodes from uh, UB Motion Pictures, we're doing the TV show, and for season one, this one, um, we decided to adapt, so we wanted to do, you know, prototypes over it, but it takes almost a month for one episode. So it doesn't look like it, but when you play it, you feel the experience. It takes almost a month to create that. Wow. And season two will start in November, already having it, it's different because now we're working directly before uh, on the uh, episode themselves, so we're going to adapt it to uh, the pipeline of production. Well, it, it looks like it's a lot of fun, and uh, you know, for me, I've got I've got a little girl at home, and uh, I, I I don't think she's quite ready for it, but at some point in the near future, she's what, three. She's uh, she's two and a bit. 
to you in a bit. Yeah. Should be almost fine. But she would. I, I know she would. She's uh, laugh, but exactly, not exactly. Yeah. And so we, you know, we we messed around with some of the Connect games at home, and uh, and she has some fun. But yeah. trying to get the games in there early. Um, thank you so much for doing this, Xavier. Thank you. I appreciate it. It looks like a lot of fun. And, uh, uh, it's going to be the evolution, I guess. For um, you know, even if you think, and I can finish on this. Yeah, yeah. By even all if you put aside the rabbits themselves, um, and just think about the interactive part. Uh, for example, Unity, Assassin's Creed, you take the cinematic elements. What could be active gameplay over this? So we're just starting uh, with the interactive stuff. It's going to be huge. Well, we've seen what comes well. from the rabbits before. So we started so with the rabbits, yeah. but it's going to be huge for Ubisoft. In the future, we could go in different um, targets as well. You know, um, It sounds cool. Xavier Manzanares, executive producer on the rabbits. And this is the rabbits interactive TV show. Thanks. hit TV show, Rabbit's Invasion, is now a video game. Jump up and jump into the show. Now you can invade their world. Watch and play 20 interactive episodes, including 400 awesome activities, speed drawing, Dance like crazy. Have an egg battle. Control the characters. Pose like the rabbits. Discover new characters. Launch rabbits through the air. And invite them to join the fun in your living room with augmented reality. Huh? Oh. Rabbit's Invasion, the interactive TV show, is now a video game. Coming to Xbox One, connect for Xbox 360 and PS4.